Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play of Might and Magic 8, the Day of the Destroyer. And I was very confused when I started off this episode because I was in Ravenshore and I was just like, hmm, that's not where I remember I leaving off. And hmm, I don't remember being uh, level 18 and then I went to Shadowspire and then we're just like, huh, I don't have the Lost Book of Kel? I thought I did. And I figured out the loaded the wrong save. So, in this episode, um... I assume, since we saved here, that my plan was to try to incite some war between the Dare Medusa, no, wait, the what Naga, and the Dragon Hunters, which is, you know, easy enough. It's gonna be a lot of late, late sounds. Uh, if you hear a cat yowling in the background during this episode, worry not, it's just my cat that is in heat, and there's very little I like, can do about that. Uh, she's currently yowling pretty heavily, uh, but like, she can suddenly go up to my face and yowl, which certainly doesn't help, uh, anyone. Certainly doesn't help doing a let's play with yowling cats. Oh my god, these Nagas are so slow. Again, though, this is kind of a cheap tactic, but... Sometimes to get ahead in life, you have to do cheap tactics. At least that's my fair belief. Soon be inside aggro range. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a Crusader. Because, like, the Crusaders are, for the most part, more powerful than the Nagas, as far as I remember. Maybe not the Naga Queens. But... But yeah, so as you might see here, the Nagas are currently losing, but they win in sheer number. So this would be fun to see. The poor Dragon Hunters are losing pretty greatly here. They're struggling with Dragon Hunter pets though. But I mean, I don't mind if the Nagas are dying. Uh, really, if they lose, then good for them. Or good for me. Oh. How did you get poison? Well, good thing for you we don't have cure poison. Okay, never mind. I was just like, a good thing for you we have cure poison. No, I haven't really been that good at racing body spells, have I? Let's get some more Nagas going here because there's way more Nagas to, to get a hold of. Like, uh, we're here in the mountains, too, there are a bunch. So, we're not gonna go... We're not gonna run out of Nagas anytime soon. Ow. Again, this might be a slightly boring episode, to be honest, but it's, uh, it's useful. This was not what I planned for this episode at all, actually. I was planning on going to Shadow Spy and do the Mad Necromancer quest. Even though we don't have a knight. But it would give us, um... It would give us, uh, Lich Jars, so we could get an Apaniel promoted to Lich. Which would be great. So, the reason why we're here, though, like, now, is because we have that they're old friend of ours in this uh, tent over here. Well, I don't really know where he is right now. Is that him? No. He's in here. No, that's a dragon hunter. Okay. Because, like, one of these guys that is probably dead by now, actually. No, there you go. Jerick is the bug. Good luck, Jerick. You'll need it. Oh my, he's powerful, isn't he? But he's completely surrounded, though, so he doesn't really stand a chance, if you ask me. Yep, no, he is dead. Okay, why are you guys so upset with Cory? What has she done to you? You even broke something at first right now, didn't you? Oh no, just looked like it then. Okay, uh, well, I don't mind that you guys don't break things. Oh. 
I don't know. What Poor is... Dragon Hunter, though. It's so scary just knowing that you're surrounded by enemies and they're just going to get inside. Uh, so let's continue on with the war down here, then. Kill them! Kill them! Oh, okay, it's kind of, like, annoying that you aren't, like... Can I just... Can I kill him? Do we know implosion or something? No, but I do have... Okay, that was close. I'm just thinking if I send this into... There we go. Nobody saw that. I might have lost some respect for doing that. I'm actually not sure. Maybe not, because, like... We are supposed to kill these guys anyway if we're gonna join the dragons. Again, though, in this let's play, I'm gonna join people I don't like to join. Um, and I, I'm not really sure if I've said yet who that is, but it's definitely... One of them is dragon hunters. We're gonna join the dragon hunters in this uh, let's play. So we're gonna kill the dragons. And as for what we... Oh, you're... It's actually kind of fun to follow this dragon around, because he's like going dragon hunting. Or naga hunting on his own. Well, let's give him too many nagas to handle. The dragons are way more powerful than I remember those pets. I don't know. Ah, you're running away, you little naga warrior. Yes. But if I don't like Naga Warriors, run away. Again, it feels slightly cheap, but only slightly. That's the fun part. I've never seen one. I've never seen one. Poor Dragon Hunter's pet, though. He's I've dying now. But just so you know, Cory has never seen one before. In case she hasn't told you yet. Oh, oh and she's poisoned again. Okay. Well, let's make these last people fight it up then. So, like. If we get a double attack here from, like, all of the Nagas. Even the ones running away. Are you all running away? Oh, then I should just try to kill you. I got it. I didn't know you guys were that injured. And then, come on, this is a war zone. You're gonna need all the firepower you can get in order to battle that dragon hunter's pet over there. I'm just saying. How much longer do we have to fly? Seven hours. Okay, good. If it'll gore. I'm very excited to try a playthrough where I don't play with a dragon character. And also kind of scared. Watch it! Watch it, she says. Like, I can control who shoots at her. Well, the Nagas are launching their final attack. Let's see if it actually turns out to be a success. The biggest issues are again the Dragon Hunter's pets. There's two of them, right? Yeah. If the Nagas can take down these two pets, it's gonna kill off the stragglers that are trying to escape, so I get experience points. But it's actually kind of fun to do this. I used to do this, like, that was one of the first things I did as a kid whenever I played this game, was always, like, make Nagas and the... Uh, and the... Dragon Hunters go at it, because that would make them... Well, first of all, they would remove a lot of them from action. Oh, looks like the Nagas are losing. I'm actually used to the Nagas winning. And again, my job right now is not to remove the Dragon Hunters, so I don't really care if they win. Uh, so... 
down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a lot of things to loot now, though. And luckily, they did not see that I... I was the one who did all this. I was just flying around there watching them, but, like... So... This is why I always did it in the beginning. It's because you Leave can it. get some very nice plate armors. And usually I've had a night Leave around, uh, even though I don't have that now. Leave it. You can get some very nice armors out of this. Right now we are not. Do we actually want to sell that? I keep forgetting we have so much money in this playthrough. Bunch of ore, and that is not good ore, but I'm still gonna pick it up. Now, this poor dragon hunter, that one was on me. I'll admit that much. And we got the Sword of Whistlebone, which would come in handy if we were gonna... If we were gonna... If we were gonna actually... Have a knight going against these guys. Well, I guess... Should I use it against the dragons when we... Give it to someone else. Oh, you don't have the skill for that. Never mind. Should we use it with Cory fighting... Oh, it's Havoc. Never mind. I kind of forgot that she had some Leave special it. equipment on, which is way better than the Sword of Whistlebone. Double damage against dragons is nice when fighting dragons. And you know, we will fight dragons, but yeah, we're not gonna... Why are there so many dwarves around here? We are gonna take them with us, that's for sure. Gonna pick up all of the hides. Cutlass. Leave it. The Nagas have really terrible weapons for some reason. And not very nice equipment here either, which was expected. Leave it. Not gonna bother Worthless. selling anything. No, not, not anything. No, no, no. Down. Killing the stragglers. And now for the main battlefield, where it's more than enough to loot as well. Oh, so many plate armors, Leave but none it. of them are good. Worthless. Why? Worthless. I know you can find better plate armors Worthless. than this on them. Let's actually just throw out this one too, we don't really need it. Now, I think killing Jarek Whistlebone, Leave it's it. at least a quest. Worthless. Don't not, I don't remember if it's the promotion quest for um, for dragons, but we're gonna go check it out anyway. I mean, and we also have cleared out a bunch of the areas around here around the Naga Wolf right now too, which is also nice. We're not gonna actually uh, go into the Naga Wolf at this time because it's actually too difficult right now for me, uh, especially in the beginning of the of the dungeon. You get swarmed super easily, so. I was just thinking we might as well just get rid of everyone here. They don't like uh, Dark Elves, do they? I'm actually not sure if that's like a real thing, because in other games... Uh, there is like... Racial hate, or whatever you should call it... Between certain... Uh, monsters and certain... <laughs> Certain of your or of your characters, either because it's a woman or because it's a man or because you're a knight or because you're a cleric, uh, like in Might of Magic Seven, like goblins will battle dwarves for some reason, elves will battle goblins. Is it? No, elves will battle humans. 
Okay, we would actually been able to do the, uh, to do the. I don't know. We don't care. Don't care. Don't care. That was a wolf's life for some reason up here. I guess the, I guess the dragons have had a field day eating. Can why do I actually? Okay, never mind. I remembered wrong. These red laced horse are actually. Actually, making um, exceptional value items. So, it might actually be a good idea the first time you're here to go around and pick these things up so you can actually use them. These are the dragons we're gonna have to kill uh, if we are to ally with the dragon slayers. And they're not really that powerful, to be quite honest. They're kind of push over -y. We would be able to do it now if I remember correctly, so. But I want to do a few other things first. I also want to find out where I can actually enter into the dragon's den because I completely forgot about that. Oh, we have passed it by a long while. Bum. 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 Okay, dragonette seems to be a bit more dangerous, but, you know, again, we're not doing this yet. Let's investigate. And this is where you live. Master Dragon, of course, you already are a Master Dragon. But let's see if we can, if I remember correctly, get you to Great Worm. If not, it's just a quest that we can get a reward from, so it's nice to have it done either way. You know, not slain all of the Dragon Hunters. Well, I guess we're gonna do that too, really. Great, we're... No! To become a great term, we need to get the um, dragon's egg, don't we, from somewhere inside, like, the castle or something. I don't really remember where it's supposed to be. Right. Uh, now I just remembered wrong again, but, like, what? No? If I ask for an alliance with the dragon, that doesn't mean that I am, I can't do the alliance quest with the dragon knights, right? Or the dragon slayers. Oh, let's just do it. Last month, one of Kishot's raiding parties invaded our cave. They slew many and took with them the egg containing my unborn heir. While those false foul slayers hold the egg, we cannot attack their encampment. If you were to return the egg to me, I would destroy Kishot. Do this for me and I will join your alliance. So... For to ally with the dragon slayers, you need to recover the dragon's egg from Sog's fortress and ravage roaming and return to Charles Gishot. Because the dragon's egg that they think Charles Gishot had, he doesn't really have. But, like, what was the point of killing that guy then? Did I just remember completely wrong? Probably, right? No, C C C C. Kill all the dragon slayers, and but I haven't killed all the dragon slayers, have I? I haven't. So, it was you. You have not slain all the dragons. Okay, maybe we have to then. I don't know. Oh, this is so annoying. I, I feel so stupid for not seeing that. By the way, ah, oh let's right, try again. we don't have alchemy skill. I kind of forgot that. Do you? A perfect mix. You do. Thank you. Because I don't want you to be poisoned, Cory. The slaying all the dragon riders or dragon. Why do I call them dragon riders all the time? We're not dragon riders. Dragon, not dragon slayers, right? We're dragon hunters. I keep saying the wrong thing all the time. Uh, that's not really such a big deal right now. Uh, I will be able to just kite them down, really. We can try it out with these two guys over here. And be like, hey, buddy. Yeah, they only attack the dragons, don't they? Well, they are the ones who's gonna lose out of that. And here comes the plate armor hell again. At least there's one hair that looks better. Worthless. 
but still not good enough for Ithilgore. Well, we're just gonna try to slaughter all of them. There are not that many guards here in town. Uh, and the Medusa fixed most of the other ones, so... Okay, the Dragon Slayer is perhaps a bit too powerful to engage hand-to-hand. -hand. These guys used to be hell in the older games, like Might and Magic 7, remember they like the Masters of the Sword and stuff, and Champions of the Sword? They were not nice on guard to fight against. They were painful. Let's kill another. We will, Ithilgore, but patience. Because there are dragon slayers about. Dun -dun -dun. Plate, armor, plate, armor, plate, armors everywhere. Even though they stink donkey balls. That's my new theme song for this game. Hi, I know we're like flying on dragons in here and stuff, but like we're friendly, we're totally friendly. And now for the last ones. I feel kind of bad for killing these guys because I mean they're trying to do the nice thing. It's just that the nice thing is not a nice thing. <laughs> if that makes sense. Already out of spell points, uh, Nathaniel? Oh, gosh, they attacked a lot. Or they actually damaged a lot. I'm so used to uh, dragons being shooters, so all of a sudden, like, having them come up close is kind of unusual for me. But yeah, they basically have the same hit points as normal dragons, don't they? I wish I knew. That's actually kind of impressive. I'm glad Ifilgore is here to find his fellow kin. I thought I would have struggled a bit here. I understand why the Nagas use such a long time at killing uh, these things. But, like the rest of them, it's gonna go down. Ooh, almost like the Haniel did there. Ooh, okay, okay, now we don't... I always say that when I do that, when I'm starting to get backed up over a hill, and I don't really pay attention, and all of a sudden, I'm like, actually getting attacked by things on the ground. That is not nice. Let's just say that Cory and Ithogor is doing most of the work here. Yes, you killed one of your kin. So that should be it. And then we should return with the Sword of Whistlebone. Is the name really Whistlebone? Because for me, Whistlebone is another character from a totally different game. In Twisted Metal 2, there is a character named Simon Whistlebone. Oh, but it's actually Whistlebone. Cool. I actually never picked up on that. Distant relatives, I presume. But that should be it for the Dragon Riders. I mean, there should be almost it for, like, any creature out in Garrett Gorge. Uh, and I know that I'm gonna ally with them, so they're probably not too happy with me right now, but, like, who cares? I'm gonna make them happy, too, by killing all of these dragons eventually. But the dragons are a bit more of a challenge. A bit. Let's see if this actually works, then. Hi, we have the sword of Whistlebone, Whistlebone, Whistle. Wrong home, very sorry. I have slain all of the dragon hunters, though. 
Do we need to slay them inside a castle too? Ah. How annoying. And I can't town portal to Garret Garret Gorge either, can I? I still can't pronounce that though that name. Garret Gorge. Garrote Gorge? Well, that gave me a headache to say. Okay, but apparently I'm missing some dragon slayers. What I think is happening is that it's inside a castle. Or I must have missed somebody in town. So I'm just going to do a double take around town first. And by the by, we should look for where we can sell those Naga Heights. Can we come Master Spirit Magic? Thank you. That was actually pretty nice. Expert Arms Master. That was also nice. We should have done this earlier. Expert Identify Monster? That I don't care about. That is a limit to what I care about. Tempest still doesn't want to join us. Neelix Uriel still doesn't want to join us. Not that I really care. I'm just, you know, saying rude. Quest, you're not slaying all of the vermin, that's for sure. It's gonna happen eventually, but like... Master Mace, other dragons... Where is the drum? Well, it's not here, is it? Master Body Ma okay, that was nice, I didn't know that they were here. So, here's that promotion quest thingy. Wait, Master Sword. Oh, you're not there yet. Oops. Master Body Building. Okay, you're not there yet. Come on, I know somebody here is buying Naga Heights. Or do I remember it completely wrong? That's honestly also a possibility that the Naga Heights guy is somewhere completely different. I just completely misremember things. It happens more often than I like to admit. So, that now seems likely, unless there are any houses here, which I doubt. Okay, I completely lost track of time, by the way. Our sanctuary is a benediction to uh, I have no idea for how long I've been playing. So it's tempting to call it an episode here, uh, while in the next episode we're going to storm the Dragon Hunter's camp. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to call it an episode here. I've been a winning gamer. Thank you for joining me in this slaying of the dragon slayers. Even though we are going to ally with them eventually. I know, things don't make sense. But, you know, the game in general don't make sense. Either way, I've been a winning gamer. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.